Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing The Bunny Graveyard. Now, you guys may remember around a year ago, we played the demo for The Bunny Graveyard, and it was a really cool, like, cutesy horror experience that got progressively darker as we went through the game. But this is like the full final chapter one that's come out now, and massive shout out to the developer who gave me a copy a few days early so that I could play it on the channel today. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into The Bunny Graveyard and see what it's all about. Alright, let's go guys. Let's start. We've got a little icon on the main monitor here. Let's click it. I guess we're loading up the game. Oh, you do not have permission to access this application. Please contact your administrator. Hmm. Oh, we've got a status. Okay, interesting. We've got this button. Oh, we can draw. Look, I can draw a little rabbit. Let's see how good my art is. Eh, not bad, is it? I think we can all agree that that is a fine pixel art. Actually, it's kind of bad. But there we go. I made a rabbit. Uh, what about the information? Here you go. Looking for signal. It's trying to connect. Oh, no signal found. Interesting. Okay. Close. Hmm. I don't know what to do, guys. I can't seem to access this program. It says, you do not have permission. Oh, we just click it. We just keep clicking it. It keeps, like, glitching about, so we've got to keep clicking it. Could try and catch it. It's a tricky little... Oh, okay. So that's how we get in. <laughs> We've transferred over to the game now, it seems. But everything seems uh, a little bit strange here. What is this? Like, the mood has definitely changed. What are we doing? Following it. Oh. Oh, I think we have to follow the, the glowing one. So, it's this way. And it was this way. I think it went this way. Yep, we're on the right track. Keep going. Oh, where's it gone now? What do I do? Do I click this? Oh yeah, look. We're opening up the game. We're breaking our way in. Nice. This is cool. So that's how we hack the Matrix, I guess. <laughs> hey, we're in. Nice little hand. The Bunny Garden. Hey, we actually got into the game. Okay, this is where I should have done the intro. But I kind of needed to show you the intro before I did the intro. Never mind. This is the Bunny Garden, actually. It's not the Bunny Graveyard. It's the Bunny Garden. So that's much um, happier, I guess, than the Bunny Graveyard. Let's start the game. Let's do it. We finally got in. It took me a while to remember how to do that. Oh, there we go. We've landed in the Bunny Garden. Wake up. Get up. Lazy little hand. Oh, here's another hand. So they're all hands in this world, little gloves. Huh. A glove, just like you. It's wearing a silver ring on its index finger. Let's go and uh, see it then. Looks like it wants to show you something. Let's find out. Okay. Let's go and find out. Oh, look, we've got a stamina bar if we run. Don't know how a hand runs. It floats, doesn't it? At least this hand does. Hands don't usually float. Oh, here he is. This is very peaceful and serene. It's kind of nice. Just batting a ball about. I'm going to try and, like, catch it with our friend first, and then we'll come back and speak to all the other hands in this area. Oh, here we go. Who's this? <sighs> it's Sky. Hey there, partner. Name's Sky, Sky the Bunny. I'm guessing number eight brought you here, right? Well, that's great. It makes me so happy to see little hands like you hanging around here. I mean, some of y'all don't even go outside. Always watching TV and doing nothing. Anyway, I'm getting a bit sidetracked. Now that you're here and all, I'm gonna be honest with you. Looking after this place by myself and my handy pals has been a pain in the butt. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, they are really helpful, but sometimes they get pretty lazy. So I was thinking, how about you help me out here too? Maybe you and I could make this little garden something special. It'll be fun, I promise. So what do you say? Are you up for the job, partner? Uh, I guess, yes? <laughs> awesome! Well, see you there, bud! Alright, so that's Sky. I guess she runs the farm. I assume it's a she. I guess we go up, guys. I, we're gonna try and find Sky now. Here she is. You're here! Welcome to my garden! Since it's your first day helping me out, I'll teach you some of the basics. Come on, let's start planting some flowers. What a lovely place this is. How to garden. Hit the interact button or left click when the yellow ring touches the grey circle. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, that slows down to a different speed. Damn, this is tricky. There we go, we got it. To be fair, I was reading quite a lot then. So what do we do? Click? Ah, oh, yeah, this is how we dig. This is peaceful. This is kind of relaxing gameplay right now. See, for games like this, it's going to be a pleasant experience for us. I like the music as well. The music is quite chill. It's like something you get on Animal Crossing or something. Boom. Look at this. We're just digging holes for the seeds to go in. I think it's getting a bit faster now. Yeah, I'm having to do it just before it actually kind of hits the contact point in order to time it right. Oh! Looks like your performance bar took a hit. Try not to get it to zero, or you'll have to start over. Try to stay focused. I know you can do it, pal. Alright. Well, I tried my best, you know? That's all I can do. It's planting some seeds out here in the hot sun. Yes! Yes! Nice work! Looks like you're done with the digging part. I'll call up one of my handy pals to come and help you out with this next part. Number eight, come here for a sec. What do you mean you can't find number eight? Ugh, just get me number 42 then. We've got a lot of hands in this place. Oh, here we go, so we're actually, um... Oh, that's cool, we're actually, uh, yeah, like, putting the dirt down and then patting it down. You've got to click the mouse to do this. This is kind of nice. Obviously, so far, guys, not much of a horror game, but it's going to get there, trust me. Okay, so, there we are. Oh, and now we water. This is it's pretty nice. This is very Nintendo-y. Reminds me of a Nintendo game. You know those old, like, Nintendo 3DS games you used to get? Where you did stuff like this, like Cooking Mama and stuff? Hey, good job! Nice! Okay. So Sky says, oh, you're done already? Wow, thank you so much for helping me out here. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go and do something important. Hmm, sinister. But don't worry, in the meantime, you can get to know all of your handy pals. See ya! Also guys, apologies um, if my voice cracks a little bit. I'm not doing like voice impressions really because um, I've got a little sore throat at the moment. So I'm trying to just do a commentary uh, pretty, uh, pretty flat for this video. So what's this all about? Can I click this? No? Can I click this? No? These look like little gravestones, don't they? Can I get inside this? Huh. Interesting, we can't get inside that. There's a rock here though. Ooh. Wait. I wonder if these are trying to tell us something. The flowers are moving in a specific pattern. I'm not going to worry about secrets in this video, guys. I'm just going to complete the, the game. We can always come back and do a secrets video. But it's interesting. It seems like there are lots of secrets already. It's a very pretty garden. I'll say that much. So we're going to uh, head over and see if we can find the other little handy pals. See where Sky's got to. Hmm, there's a lot of handy pals over here, here, and here. Looks like it's time to meet your fellow handy pals. Nice, I'll go and speak to this one first. Score 15 points before the timer runs out. Alright, let's give it a go. 
How do we do this, though? Oh. Okay. We actually got one. Nice. Oh, we got another. Man. Oh, right. this isn't going in. No way. Or maybe it is. Okay. Sweet. Guys, we might do this. This is kind of crazy. Oh. Yeah, this is all right. This was really hard, I remember, in the demo, but they've made it a lot easier. It was really frustrating, this minigame in the demo. They've actually made it fun to play. I got some skills now. I'm like Michael Jordan. Let's go. Boom. All right, let's get the, the 13th in. Oh no, I missed one. That's so bad. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna miss all of them now after doing so well to start with. <laughs> Come on, we just need two more. Let's go. Good job. Hey, we did really well. Happy. Okay, so that's the basketball done. You found a piece of paper. Huh. Okay, so we've got a piece of paper. Let's go back. Now we just explore a little bit more, I guess. What's this all about? Basketball. Wait, is it called a basketball or a basketball ball? I guess some questions will never be answered. Uh, I think it's just called a basketball. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's go and meet the other handy pals. We've got some here. Can you find us? Find all of the handy pals before the time runs out. All right, I'll give it a go. How many are there though? Oh, we got six. Six to find. Man, well, how am I supposed to know where they are? I don't see any of them. Oh, there's one here. Hey. All right. Hey, here's our little home. I bet there's not any in the home, right? All right, I'm going down, guys. I'm going to see if there's any back this way. There's not. Right, we're running out of time. Let's go to the next area. Oh, there's one here, hiding under the dirt. You sneaky little beggar. Right, no more around that side. Let's have a little look up here. Anyone? Oh, I can see one behind a tree, I think. But I have to go around. There we go, that's free. I thought I saw another, but I didn't. I feel like I've missed some. Uh, oh, there's one. Hey, you're definitely there, right? Yes. Okay, that's four of six. Guys, we've got two more. Oh, there's one here. Sweet. Five of six. Okay, so where's the last one going to be? Guys, it's got to be around the flower beds, right? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to miss this because I just... I'm missing... Oh no, there's one there. There's one there. There's one there. Good job. Oh, that was close. That was actually quite close, but we did it. I was panicking. <laughs> oh, look, we've got another. Another piece of paper. So that's two pieces of paper now. All right, so we've done this one, so we can move on. Speak to this guy now. It's still sleeping, okay? What about this one? Oh, rock, paper, scissors. Choose your attack and show number 17 who's boss. All right, let's do this. Choose your attack. Hmm, I'm going to go rock. Oh. I think we got it. So we broke his scissors. I'm going to go scissors next. Oh, wait, is scissors the one that's coming up? I'm going scissors. Oh, no, that's... It tells us. Ah, I get it. So it says scissors again on the other side. I'm going to go rock. Nice. We did it. Choose your attack. Okay, I'm going to go with paper. Why not? Wait, what? I chose paper. Well, I'm glad that I, uh... Let's have a look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with rock. 
I'm getting really confused now. It's showing us, I think, his attack that's coming up. Choose your attack again. I'll go scissors, I guess. Hey, we did it. Guys, that was confusing to me because I didn't know if it was trying to tell me what his attack was or if it was telling him my attack sometimes. I don't know. But either way, we got through it first time, so it's not obviously that hard. So we've got another picture now. Oh, and here we go. Is this for the safe combination, I wonder? Oh no, it's for the rock there. One of the handy pals is heading over to the well. You should go and find out what's going on. Okay, but should I first kind of like do this? Ah oh, no, this is just a piece of paper. So this is what we've got to remember, I think, guys. Now let's head over to the well. Go and see what our handy pal wants. This is a lot better than the demo. I remember the demo was like really frustratingly hard at points. And they've really balanced the game better. I'm actually enjoying this a lot. So let's hop down the well. Oh, see, this is where it becomes a bit more of a horror game now. It's a bit spooky. Knocking on the door down the well. It says no rabbits allowed. Hmm. Password? Ah, so this is where we've got to put in that password. Okay, so it's up, left, down, action, right. Ah. Uh, all right, come in. All right, nice. If you head inside, you won't be able to go back to the garden. Head inside anyway. Okay, so we've probably missed some secrets, guys, in the garden area. What I'll probably do if you guys enjoy this playthrough, I'll actually make a video looking at all the secrets as they're basically discovered by the community. Because um, I won't be able to find all of them on my own on a first playthrough. But that's like an upcoming video if you guys enjoy this series. For now, we're just going to continue. We're going to get the basic story done gonna see where this heads next let's go all right kind of spooky down here ominous oh flickering lights never a good sign this is a long corridor very long all right we're in so yeah, basically it's saying uh, no rabbits allowed here. The art on the wall says no bunnies allowed. Yeah, we just figured that out. There's a bunch of spray cans on the floor and a small wooden table. The art on the wall says I love box. <laughs> Fair enough. The art on the wall says no more rules. So maybe the rabbits are controlling all these hands like forcing them to do their bidding. I guess that's maybe like the story that's trying to be told here. Gotta get these little gloves to safety. So we're going further in. Oh, who's this? A mysterious character indeed. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. Sup, dude? So, you found my secret hideout, huh? That's kind of impressive, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm gonna be real with you for a sec. Something about this seems kind of weird, my dude. I don't want to judge or anything, but I've never seen a handy pal as pale looking as you, dude. I'm not getting the vibes I normally get with all the other handy pals. Did she uh, run out of gloves or something? Hmm, you know what? I got a little challenge for you, my dude. We're actually starting a competition in a couple of minutes. So, if you like, win the competition and you'll earn my trust. Sound good? Yeah, sure. Awesome, dude. Let's get this party stuck. Wait, I almost forgot. Name's Boxers. <laughs> Alright, time to go. Alright, we've met a new character called Boxers. So we've got Sky and Boxers now. Oh, the handy pals are outside the house. Looks like it's starting to get dark outside. The handy pals are starting to get worried. The cabin's door has been locked for a while. What's going on in there? Sky's up to something. Just to reiterate, if one of y'all gets past that labyrinth, 
Things are not going to go well round here, understand? Your actions will put all of your pals at risk. So don't even think of going down there again. Ah, uh, look at the time. My little handy pals have been waiting for hours now. I'm sorry for making you all wait for so long. I'm going to head home now. But you should all take a nap. So Sky is up to something. She's a bit sinister. And this hand here that's in the cabin with her seems to kind of be like, I don't know, I guess the kind of ringleader of the hands and all the hands answer to them. And Sky basically, you know, talks to them in order to relay information back to the other hands. Especially you, number eight. So that's number eight there. That's the one she spoke of earlier. Interesting story so far. Kind of about oppression and stuff, isn't it? Okay, so he's going off anyway. Oh no, he disobeyed. Well, look who it is. The one and only number eight. Sneaking out again, are we? Seems like you don't understand the severity of this situation. Oh, he's so scared. Do I have to teach you some manners? I'll take that as a yes. Oh no, her claws are out. Oh god, wow. Took his fingers. And that's insane. That's actually pretty dark. We're obviously definitely not playing a kid's game here, guys. Wait, what? Oh, that's just the intro. This reminds me of a pink elephant sequence from Dumbo. It's like really psychedelic. But here we go, this is a real intro, the bunny graveyard. Yeah, so Sky has shown who she really is. A kind of crazed master, I guess, like slave master almost. It's kind of, it's a very strange story we've got now brewing. <laughs> anyway, we're back in the well, guys, with the uh, boxer's character. He says, well, uh, I thought this thing could go faster, huh? Anyway, I don't want to spoil the fun, but I wanted to ask. Have you ever, like, uh, fought someone before? Um... No? <laughs> oh, well, uh, I might have to teach you a few things then. Unless you're, uh, too scared to handle it. Nah, I'm fine. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Looks like we're here. I was kind of doing his voice a bit more like Surfer Duty before, I think. Probably should go back to that. Look at all the little handy pals down here. He says, all right, let's go to the training room. Wow, it's a bit scuffed. Okay, little dude, here's how this is going to go. So here's the thing. This is actually uh, a fighting competition. Pretty cool, right? This is what your fighters look like. These are, well, the hands. And uh, this is the head. When you're in the ring, your objective will be to hit the head. If you punch the head off, you'll win. However, these fighters know what they're doing. The hands and the head work together as a team. So punching their head off won't be as easy as you'd think. Because you'll need to watch out for their punches too. <laughs> if you beat all of the fighters tonight, you'll get to stay here with us. And if you lose, you'll get kicked out. Now that you know all of that, how about you show little Stuart over here what you got? Don't worry, he'll be fine. Alright, let's go. So, um, how to fight? Go left or right to dodge incoming attacks. Ah. I see. Hit the interact key to punch the enemy. Ah, so that's as easy as it is. You push him the opposite direction. Look at this. Just clob at his face. Oh, hold action key to block an attack. Ah, there we go. I got it. Okay. Go. Let's block. I'm just gonna punch him. Oh. Oh god, okay. This is going badly. I'm punching him, guys. Ah! 
All right, I need to be careful here. There we go. There you go, block it. Man, I'm all right at this. We knocked Stuart's head off. Screw you, Stuart. Stupid ball. Well, uh, looks like you're taking this seriously, my dude. Guess you're ready for the real deal now. Meet me at the planning room. <sighs> all right, let's go. I want to stay down here with these ones. They seem cooler than Sky. Sky's a bit like serial killer like. So, we gotta go and find the other little handy pals. Here they are. Just a couple of handy pals hanging out. Looks like one of them is super excited. What's this? Trading room. Here's the ring. And then we've got an exit over here. I don't actually know, like, where all these other places lead to. The entrance is blocked. I guess we could just exit. Maybe? Just out of interest. Oh, he's just in here. So Boxer says, all right, I'm done with the other fighters. You're the only one left. Since you're new, you gotta tell me what your entrance is gonna be like. Maybe an elegant looking entrance or an epic one. That one sounds kind of cool actually, but there's also a spooky one. Ah, I don't know man, you decide. Ooh, spooky, elegant or epic. Well, it's a horror video, so I'm gonna do a spooky one. Yes, spooky entrance. All right, I'll let the handy pals know about this now. Okay, so last thing, I need a fighter name for you. So maybe something like Finger Breaker Super Puncher or something like that. You get the point. I'm going to call myself Super Horror Brawler. Super Horror Brawler, it's got to be, hasn't it, guys? There we go. Super Horror Brawler. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> so, Super Horror Brawler it is then. Sounds uh, weird. All right. I'm going to go and hype up the crowd. You stay here till I call for you, okay? See you in the ring, my dude. All right. Cool. We're going to go get a few fights, guys. See if we can stick down here with these guys. Look at this, he's enjoying his little role as the announcer. My dudes, are you all ready for the best night of your lives? Well, the hands are like clapping, they're pretty happy. All right, earlier today we decided on having Iron Punch as our main fighter for tonight. But unfortunately, I haven't heard anything about their whereabouts. But don't worry, my dudes, because I found someone else. I wonder if that's number eight, the one he's referring to, because of course, number eight just got killed. And unlike previous contestants, this one looks like they have some guts. But I know what you're thinking. Can they actually take out all of our fighters tonight? Well, it's time to find out. It is time to find out. I'm kind of nervous. SHB Brawler! Super Horrible Brawler. Oh my god, we've got like, um... What's this? Handle Banks? She's Egyptian looking. All right, let's see if we can get this. Oh, punch. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, this is actually hard, guys. What the heck? I'm just punching the hell out of her. All right, we knocked her out. Nice. Or is that the first round only? That's only the first round, are you kidding me? Oh my god, what the heck, I, I blocked that, surely? No, I'm too eager, guys. All right, she's down again. This is actually tough. Come on, stay down, stay down. If you know what's good for you, you'll stay down. Oh no, I dodged the wrong way, guys. No, I got knocked down. Get up, get up, get up. Okay, screw you. Oh no, she did it twice in the same direction. She tricked me. Okay, that's down and out. And <laughs> we just punched her little hand away. This is kind of cool, I like this. But uh, I could have done better there, guys. I am getting used to it still, though. 
Oh man, looks like handle banks couldn't handle the pressure. Heh <laughs> but our next fighter won't be as easy to beat, because you'll have to make sure to keep him in sight. Oh man, what does that even mean? Here we go. Versus who? Ooh. Hand sight. So what, is they hide their hands? I guess. I don't know. Guys, what the heck? Oh. Oh no. You have to be really quick with this one. Alright, that's one round done. I think it's better just to keep punching them. And then, you know, like, when you see them start to, like, throw a punch, you just dodge... Oh, you just dodge like that and just keep going with it. No! I dodged him, surely, then. Alright. Let's go. I maybe dodged a bit early, I think, is what I did there. He's back, though. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. The hands have gone. I'm knocked down. I, I see what they mean now. About the, the hands being hidden, you have to kind of like really watch the screen. You have to watch like his body movements and which way he goes. Oh my god, it's actually tricky, what the heck? I'm just, I'm just laying into him. Alright, he's down. We got it. We did it. Guys, nice. Two fights in a row. I used to play Fight Night on the PS3. So, uh... It's my old Fight Night skills coming back. Definitely not my w real world boxing skills. Oof. Looks like uh, Hand Sight lost his sight. Okay, that one sucked. But now, it's time for our last fighter. The most feared fighter of them all. Alright, who? Because those two are hard enough. Look at our creepy little pose. All the ghouls coming out. Versus, oh, it's like a finger tank taker. I don't like the sound of that. He's like a gunslinger. Right, I'm going to screw you up, man. I'm going to smash you. Boom, boom. Oh, okay. Oh, why am I doing the wrong direction, guys? I've done the wrong direction multiple times in a row now. And again, I keep... Guys, I every time there pressed the wrong direction, that was insane. Alright, we've got this. He's just, oh, he's, he doesn't even go down, he just slaps himself awake again. Oh my god, come on. Alright, we knocked him down again. Oh, he's just still slapping himself. Are you kidding me? No, he's got me! He's squeezing me, guys! What the heck? Get off! Get off me! You freak! Oh no! I'm down again! This isn't gonna be too easy! Man, he's getting tough. This is nuts. I think it means you can't block it when he does that. Come on, punch his face in. Nice, we got it. I actually thought that was still round one and he was going to keep going for ages. I was a bit scared. But we got him. We punched his lights out. We've done it. Oh, no. What the heck? What? Finger Taker is back and he wants revenge. No. Beat Finger Taker. Oh, i got to click this. Ah, click it. Click it. Click it. Nice. Just smashed him. That was actually pretty easy. You just had to click the mouse a lot. But yeah, guys, we did it. We won all the fights. Not bad, not bad. Whoa, dude, that was awesome. I'm sure all the handy pals loved it too. It's been a while since I've seen them like that. Actually, before you showed up, one of our fighters literally disappeared. Thankfully, you showed up at the right time. I would have given you the costume too, but I had to get you ready in time. 
Anyway, now that show's over, I guess you can wander around the place for a bit. But if you want to take a nap, you should go to the room down the hallway. Oh, and you can also use the elevator now if you want. That's it. Have fun, my dude. And uh, thank you. Sweet. Let's go and explore. All right, so we won. We can bask in our glory. So he says like go down to take a nap down here. I don't know. Let's just check it out. Oh. Oh, this is where, yeah, this is where we sleep. This looks so comfy. This is where all the little hands sleep, I bet, guys. It's so cute. Well, we'll come back here. I don't want to go to sleep yet, because I think that'll probably end the day. Well, you know, that makes sense, right? Which would probably mean we move on to the next part of the game. I just want to explore first. So you can see all the little handy pals up there now. I'm going to go through here. Let's see where this leads. Ooh, what is this? D4, Handle Bank's room. Ah, oh, these are the fighter's rooms. A mirror. It's so high up that you can't even see yourself in it. This must be one of Handlebank's wigs. Alright. Well, that's pretty uneventful. Just for a little showroom for the fighter. Oh, here he is. Is he going to be holding a grudge against us? Who was that? Oh, that was like a spirit hand. So this one is... Um, Handsight's room, yeah, okay. This is Handsight's costume. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Let's go in this room. Finger Taker's room. Man, he lives in a complete dump. Hey dude, I know it's been a hard couple of days, but I'm sure he will be back by tomorrow. Please stop avoiding us. We miss you, man. From Box. Ah, oh, so, uh, you know, Finger Taker seems to be a bit of a softy. He was missing the person that, you know, went missing from down uh, in the depths of this well. He's got a heart of gold, I guess, underneath it all. So that's a little bit of secret lore, I think. The walls are cracked. There's also some bricks laying on the floor. Alright, we can't bust through those. Well, let's keep going then. So where does this lead? The door is locked. Maybe the key can be found somewhere in the hideout. Ooh, yeah, I'm interested in finding the key. Alright guys, we're going to go and look for that key then, see if we can find that. So where would we find the key, I wonder? Visit the upper floor. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go and visit the upper floor. This is maybe where we'll find the key. I don't know why we want to find that key so badly, I just kind of do. Let's see what's down here. Okay, so this is where we came in to begin with. So we've already been here. So now we want to go... Oh man, it's so dark, we need a flashlight or something. This is kind of nice. Look, it's like a little bar. Little hands are all um, sat at their tables. And then we've got people playing... Or well, hands, I guess. Playing instruments up here. Very nice. I thought we would be able to go up the back of here, guys, but it doesn't seem like we can. So, I think we're going to have to leave this lovely little musical bar and uh, head back. For some reason, we can't really do much else there. I'll head back to the start of the well, just in case we can find the key this way. But if we can't see anything, I'll probably just uh, cut out the video. Oh, look, if we go back this way. We do run into this dude. What's Finger Taker doing down here? He seems to be staring at the box's graffiti art. Best not to bother him. Maybe it's something to do with his flickering light. Oh! No way, it actually was. Guys, we found a secret. Why are there so many boxes down here? It actually was to do with a flickering light. So we've now got into a secret area. There's something inside the box. Grab it? Yes. Hey, we found the mysterious key. It actually was down here. Okay, we're going back, guys. We're going to open the door. We're going to see what's in the door. Finding secrets like this before games come out is really exciting because you never know what's actually going to be like behind the door. There's no way to check. 
So let's do this. All right, here we go, guys. We've reached the door. The mysterious key you found earlier appears to be intended for this door. Use the mysterious key to unlock the door. Yes. Let's see what's in here. Nice. Oh, we got a note. I think. It's an iron puncher poster. It looks pretty old. Iron punch. Okay. Surely there's something else in here. Looks like the other fighters left some presents here. So I don't know what else we can really do in this room, guys. It doesn't seem like we can do anything in here. Uh, but this is just what Iron Punch looks like. He kind of looks like um, a Dragon Ball Z character or something. But that's interesting. So yeah, I don't think we can do anything else here. Let's just leave. A nice little secret though. Let's go and uh, sleep, I guess. Time to put our head down for the night. Thanks, Boxer, for letting us stay here. Appreciate it. We did prove ourselves a worthy fighter, though, of course. Right, let's sleep. If you go to sleep now, you won't be able to go back to the hideout. Go to sleep anyway. Yes, I guess. Do we want to go back to the hideout with that crazy rabbit sky on the loose? Don't think so. I'm going to stay here. Sleeping. Oh, look at all the other little handy pals sleeping as well. Guess we wake up. Got to rouse him. All right, here we go. So they're all sleeping. I guess we just leave. I don't know why we're leaving. I feel pretty safe down here. Oh, there's Boxer. Hey, so um, uh, I know this is sudden, but I need to let you know about something. Come. Okay. This is kind of sinister. He's taking us down. Ooh, his secret master plans. Okay. You see, we're actually planning to get out of this place. And I don't just mean the hideout. I mean the garden in general. I'm sure you're wondering why, and well, Sky has been slowly killing some of the handy pals. Or at least, that's what we think. Recently, she's been guarding the labyrinth like crazy. And after some research, we figured out it was made to hide some kind of way out of this place. But ever since we found that out, Handy Pals have been going missing. In fact, this morning, number eight also went missing. And we can't just leave him. This was his plan after all. So I'm gonna ask you for a little favor. Please look for him when you get back there. Look, I would never send any handy pals to the garden, but you're not a handy pal. I don't even know who or what you are, but I do know one thing. You, you are strong, and I know you can do this. So, please bring him back to us. But he's dead, man. We kind of agreed. Okay. Thanks a lot. The fighters already know about this, but we need one more day to prepare ourselves. So you'll have to stick with Sky for tomorrow. It's okay though. We'll meet you at the labyrinth the next day. Be careful out there, my dude. All right, so I guess we're doing like one more day in this chapter. We've got to head back to the surface. Here we go, day two. So we're re-emerging from the well. Let's go and uh, face the music. We're going to go and find Sky. Hopefully she hasn't noticed we've been gone all night. She might whoop our ass. So we go over here, knock on the door. The door is locked. The handy pals might be still be asleep. Can I do anything else? Maybe we just have to go and find the body of um, number eight, right? I guess that's all our, our mission is. Oh, oh no, here she is. Welcome back, partner. Did you miss me? Cause I sure did start to miss you. Sorry, just trying to stay positive. <laughs> I don't trust you anymore, Sky. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Well, don't worry. We can still do some gardening today. I think. Ugh, who am I kidding? I can't plant with this rain. Oh, she's sad. Ooh. Wait. I have an idea. Indoor gardening? In the cabin? Maybe? I don't know. 
Watch this. What is that, a whistle? Yep. Oh, they're all quivering. Imagine being woken up like that every morning. Handy pals, I have some exciting news for you all. We're taking a trip to the lake. Are they going to be excited by that or... No, they don't seem to be. Man, these guys are no fun. Hey, look, we're going to the lake. We're going to do some fishing. Awesome. I actually really want to do some fishing. That's what I was hoping for. This game has a lot of character, a lot of personality. Oh. What the heck was that? Was that like a monster rabbit in the forest? Here we go. Looks like we're almost there, handy pals. Where are the other three? Ugh, they probably got lost again. Can you go and look for them, please? Uh, I Can you do it? Because that seems kind of sketchy back there. Man, we got to go and look for the others? There's monsters out here though, right? See, now it's full-blown horror game. We've got to find our friends. Um, is this a clue? A shotgun shell. But why is it here? If someone's got a shotgun, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty toasted. Oh, yes. There's something here. Giant boulder. This boulder is blocking the path. If only there was a way to remove it. Maybe we can put the shotgun shell in there and ignite it somehow? Yeah, we must need the shotgun shell and something to ignite it, I imagine. Um, oh, I think we can hide. Look, in the grass, guys. I think this is how we hide. Oh, there's a hand. Alright, we're following the hand. Where's he going? He's going up this way. Oh, he's gone this way. There he is! Okay, I think we found him. Two more handy pals left. Okay, nice. Oh, here's another one. So where's he running off to? One more handy pal- Oh! Looks like the handy pals need your help. Maybe they found something important. Oh, they're gonna help move the boulder. I get it. I thought we were going to have to chase that other one again, but no. So we just go back this way and they should, if my theory is correct, help us move that big boulder. Yes, here we go. Okay. Nice. Here we go. We just got to mash this uh, left mouse button, push it out of the way. Good work, handy pals. All right. So, where are we, uh... Oh, God. It's a, a, a monster hand. Wait, does he know where we are? Handy pals. Oh, it's Sky. Could you all hurry up, please? I ain't got all day, you know. Oh, she drew him away. Maybe it's gonna go and eat Sky. Alrighty, pals. Before we start, I need to talk to uh, an old friend of mine. So, I'm gonna need you all to wait here for a bit. It'll be quick, I promise. Great, we wait outside with a monster. Can't even talk to these guys. I guess these ones don't have mouths, they can't communicate. So, is this our time to escape, or do I just go up and eaves eavesdrop? Go inside the cabin, yes. I'm gonna eavesdrop, guys. Hmm. Where is he? Anyone home? Oh, it's the hunter. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh, there you are. <laughs> How are you doing, Nelson? What is Nelson, like a bird or something? Where's Ben? Ben, what happened to him? Don't play dumb with me, you stupid rabbit. Last night, he went into the woods looking for you. And he's still not here. Nelson, don't worry. I'm sure he's probably hunting right now or something. Look, you trained him for this, didn't you? I think we both know he's already old enough to take care of himself, right? She's kind of fearless. He's got a shotgun to her head. 
I'm sorry, Sky. Don't worry, I know it's hard to be a parent. But Ben's a great kid. I'm sure he's doing fine. Look, how about we forget about all this and go fishing for a bit? For all time's sake. Alright, but if he ain't back home after this, I'll go look for him myself. He'll be back, Nelson. I'm sure of it. Time for a bit of old fishing, Nelson. What is- is Nelson literally like- what? Is he a frog, a fish, or a bird? He looks like a bird to me a little bit. Oh, hey. Sorry about all that. It's been a while since I've seen a rabbit around here, you know. But yeah, enough about that. You're one of them uh, handy pals, right? You look kind of different, though. Not even a number on your back, huh? Weird. Guess I'll just call you a little guy from now on. Well, uh, in the meantime, you can go and check on my house if you want. Or... we could just leave. Check on my house. So, that's my chair. Which I guess also counts as my bed. <laughs> just sleeps in his chair every night. Look, I need to stay alert at all times, you know? If I get myself all comfy in bed, I'm never getting up. My son Ben is an actual bed in the attic, but I ain't letting you go there. Alright, well, he's not gonna let us in the attic. Why is this busted? Well, uh, that's where I used to keep my grandpa's old shotgun. I need to clean that up. Alright, I'm gonna exit, guys. I don't think we can do anything else. You leaving? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know what else we can do in there. <laughs> Alright, handy pals. It's time to go fishing. As always, I'll go with my handy pals. Nelson, you go with a curz. I mean, uh, the white glove. Yeah, you go with the white glove. Silly me. Wait, are we meant to be a curse? Surely not. What did she say? <laughs> Nelson's like, sure, okay. Okay, let's go. So are we like a cursed hand? That is really weird if we are. I assume that's what she meant. So, uh, what are the rules, rabbit? <laughs> Simple. Whoever catches the most fish before the time runs out wins. Oh, and uh, watch for those piranhas. Alright. Huh, let's do this, little guy. Well, how do we do this? Do I have to grab the fish? Hit the action key to dash. Try dashing three times. Oh, I see. Alright, I got it. So what do we do? Oh, we... We dash and grab a fish. Ah, when you're close, hit the button, yeah, to grab a fish. Okay, I got it. I was kind of confused for a second there. I don't know if we needed to dash at the same time. I don't think we do necessarily. Alright, we just gotta look for a fish. So we, we dash. Alright, we got one fish already. There's a big one there, I want that. Look at that big one. Come on. Oh, nice. We got him, we got the big one. Oh my god, we got loads, wow. We got loads then, guys. We got six at once. She's like looking sad. Come on. Give me this one. Oh, come on. All right, we got another. We got seven fish, guys. We're doing really well. How many can we get? Alright, there's no more fish here. I literally can't find any. I think he's going to escape if we're not careful. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good anyway, to be honest. We've got eight fish. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be alright. We've got eight fish. No need to sweat. Good job! Hey, we did it! Okay, so we got the most fish by far there. So we won the mini game, but they both seem happy. Well, Nelson's uh, rowing himself. He doesn't have a little uh, helper hands to, to do it for him. He's like, hey, can you explain to me where the hell we are going right now? Oh, silly me. I forgot to tell you. Every time we finish a round, we'll go deeper into the lake. Why exactly? I just want to increase the difficulty, that's all. Whatever you say, rabbit. She's trying to up the challenge for us, guys. We're here! Alright, little guy. Let's show this rabbit what we got. Alright, let's do it. So 
So where are the fish? Why is the difficulty increasing? Are we going to get like, those piranha fish now? Oh, we can fly up. I like that. She's got one as well. We've got a second one, so we're, we're all right. Like, there's no way to tell where the fish are. Like, where are they? Oh my god, holy crap. We died. That's an insta-death if you get eaten by one of those uh, big shark things. That's kind of scary knowing that thing is down here. The heck? All right, well, um, why don't we make that mistake again? All right, we've got two fish at the start this time. I just hope we don't run into that giant shark thing again. That was horrifying. It was this way as well. Oh my god! Get away from me! Damn piranha! This is actually horrible. Right, there's a big one here. I want this one. Give me this. Oh, we got so many guys! No! Get off me! Get off me! I just need to survive now. I don't know if she'll catch up to eight. She might do. It's horrible knowing that shark's down here though, you know? That's what I don't like. Knowing that that thing's down here somewhere. Just lurking about. I don't know if it's like if we go down too far it'll get us. Alright, we got him. Okay, we got another. Oh my god! Get away from me! Get away! Oh, we got grabbed by the piranha! Leave us alone, piranha! Alright, we're running out of time, but it's fine. We're still ahead. We just gotta survive, like, a few more seconds. I'm just gonna chill now, guys. I'm gonna stay near the top, where hopefully the predators aren't. Come on. Nice, good job. Yeah, I just let the clock run out. I wasn't gonna risk dying then. Because the rounds are quite long, you know? You don't want to die at the very end. Hey, looks like the rain stopped. It also is getting dark. But still, one more round left. Trust me, you're gonna love this one. Hmm. Man, I think she's setting Nelson up, isn't she? Is this it, Rabbit? Rabbit? Oh no. Oh my god, what the heck? She's sicking up blood. Oh, Nelson. You're such a fool. Huh? You know, I truly believed that your species was more intelligent. Yet here we are. Alright, I ain't playing this game anymore. Let's go, little guy. Oh no! Yeah, this is a trap. What are we gonna do? Not so fast. Don't you want to see your son again? She set him up. I knew it. Don't worry, my friend. He's alive for now. Wait, I'm sure this isn't Nelson saying this. I think they've got the name wrong. I think this is meant to be Sky saying this. Y you better not lay a single finger on my son, Ben. It's okay. Just follow my rules and I'll take you to him. R rules Your little friend simply needs to survive until the time runs out. If you win, you'll get to see your son. And if you lose, you're dead. Got it? Uh, little guy, I know this is all my fault. I should have never brought you into all this. But I really need your help right now. So, please, don't die on me. Please. Oh man, we gotta survive. That shark thing's gonna be down here, right? I guarantee it. So now we just gotta survive. Oh, there's piranhas everywhere. Get away from me, man. Are you kidding me? Alright, we can't get too close to the surface, I'm guessing, because that would be too easy. So we just gotta survive down here, alright? Oh, hello? Hello? My god. Do we have a health bar? Okay! Oh my god, there's actually a giant fish down there, guys. Oh my god. That thing is insane. There's actually, like, monsters all over this place in here. Oh my god! Oh, uh, well, guys, we're gonna be backing into what? From one monster to another? 
This is insane. We're only halfway done. We're only halfway done. Are you are you serious right now? There's little eyeballs. Man, can I just stay in the corner here, please? Please? I'm just staying in the corner, guys. I'm scared, man. This is freaking me out. Please. We just got to run that timer down slightly. Come on, man. Just let cheese the game. Cheese the game. Come on. Oh, I have a fear of water, guys. Like deep water with stuff in it. So this is horrible right now. I'm just hoping the timer runs down right. Come on. We can survive. We can survive. We can survive. We can survive. Get Nelson back to his son, Ben. Yes. Good job. We We did it. Guys, that was nuts. I was actually kind of scared then. I knew I could count on you, little guy. So, what now, Rabbit? We won your stupid game, are you happy now? Rabbit? She's not happy. She's definitely not happy. She's throwing a tantrum. Oh god. Maybe she only becomes monstrous by night. Maybe in the day she actually is good. I see how it is. You just think you're better than me. That's why you sent that pathetic son to spy on me, right? You just want to get rid of me. Well, too bad, you stupid frog. Oh, it is a frog. If you don't want to be fair, then I can't promise to be fair either. He's like, oh, great. Oh my god, we've been eaten. Is this going to be like Pinocchio? We're like stuck inside the whale now? Oh, we survived. We washed ashore. I guess it didn't really want to eat the um, little hand. It just wanted the frog. Okay. Oh, that was quite the uh, unexpected surprise there. Can I go inside his shack? I want to go upstairs into the attic. I know I should be concerned about Nelson dying, but I really only care about seeing what was upstairs that we couldn't previously see, which is the bedroom, apparently. Grab the lantern, yes. Sweet. We got a note. There's a big hole below the bed. Okay, but I want to read the note, please. Hey, Dad, I think it's time I finally proved that I can take care of myself, so I'm going hunting for a bit. I'll be back at night. Please don't be worried. That's from Ben. All right, some juicy lore. Shotgun case. Does this mean Nelson owns two shotguns? Maybe? A camera. Seems like it's broken, though. Okay. Let's head on into the forest. We have our lantern. Only problem is we know that that monster is about, right? So we're probably going to have to use the grass to hide. I wonder if we can go around the back of the house just out of curiosity. No. All right, let's go. And we're going to have to hide from that monster, I suspect. We're in the tall grass. There it is. Oh, it ate Nelson. Damn, it's getting graphic right now. I wonder though. That's not the same monster that ate him in the swamp, surely. Can we go and see Nelson? It's Nelson's head. Yeah, that is Nelson's head. There's a little lantern here. Do I have to do anything with the lanterns? No. I guess the lanterns maybe just guide us home. Another hiding spot. It's very dark. I hope you guys can see if it's okay. It is very, very dark. Screw this. Guys. Oh. Okay, so it's nearby. So we just lay low. Don't even know which way I'm meant to be going here. Oh my god. It's fair, it's fair, it's fair, it's fair. I'm, I'm going back. I'm going back. Okay, I think it's gone that way, so I'm going to hide here. Look, it's there. Run, 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 run. Run, run. Oh my god. No. Oh, guys, I was actually at a safe piece of grass. I didn't think it was big enough to hide him. I think I understand how we do this now, though. I was actually scared, so I wasn't even speaking then. Which way are we meant to be going, by the way? Like, it is this way, right? Holy crap. Hide, hide, hide. 
We almost made it. We've almost made it. He's just there, though. Come on. He's in front of us. I can't tell where he is. I can kind of hear him moving a bit. Screw it. I just ran. Right, he's down there now in front of us. It seems like there's a whole bunch of these things. These weird hand monsters. Did we escape? I don't know. I think we escaped. Hey, yeah, we're back. We're back, I think. Looks like the gates to the bridge is locked. Maybe there's a key somewhere. Are you kidding me? I've got to find an actual key in the darkness here. That's going to be easy, I'm sure. Especially with those monsters running about. Up here? Guys, I have no idea, man. I, I don't know where we're going. I don't know where to go. There's a, there's a lantern over here. Does it mean we want to go this way? Look, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Run. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I thought that was something there. It's not. We've got to figure out where this key's going to be, though. Oh. What does this mean? So this is showing where the chest is. So to the right, there's a trap. Oh, we can trap the creature in a trap, I think it's saying. We can lead him into it. And then... There's a lock there, but I don't know how we're meant to know the combination for that. Interesting, though. So we need to go this way, apparently. Will be some kind of trap, yeah. So do we have to lure it over here? Right, I'm leading him, guys. I'm leading him to the trap. Come on. Come on, in the trap. Yes, we got him. Nice. Screw you. Oh, he's given us the, the, the code, I think. I think it was two right, four left. Two right, four left. Let's go and try it on the... Um, Let's go and try it on the chest. So two right. And then four left. Nice, it worked. You found a rusty key. So that's the key for the bridge. So now we actually know how the puzzles with the safe combinations work, which is useful. So when I go back to get the secret surf, but we missed before, should be a bit easier. All right, back to the bridge then. Let's get out of this place. We've opened it. Onward. Oh. No, we've got another one. Run. Go, 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 go. We're going to be bringing Sky some trouble right here. Imagine she just shoots it with a shotgun or something. At least we don't have a stamina bar anymore. We can just run. I don't even know where we're going. I'm just kind of like, oh. Did I die? What the heck? I think that was maybe meant to happen. Oh, what the heck was that? Having fun, big guy? Well, now there's nowhere to go. It's just you. Is this Sky? I think it is. And me. Oh, damn. She just destroyed it. Well, if it is Sky, that is. Oh, that was number 10. So that was once one of the <laughs> handymen. Number 10. What a fool. You really thought you could escape from me? You stupid gloves are all the same. Do you know who I am? I will hunt you down no matter what. Oh. The heck? What's happening? Guys, this is frying my brain. This is crazy right now. So she's collapsed in a pool of blood. 
Do I want to go and speak to her and see if she's okay? Uh, hello? I'm guessing you're dead. No, she's twitching a little bit. Screw this. I'm out of here. I'm going. I am going. I'm gone. Oh, she's getting back up. Great. Let's go and free all the other handymen while we can and get out of here. We've got to use that stamina wisely. Oh, here we go. We got back. We're back at the house. A little cabin. That's quite a nice looking house. But why is it here? Oh, this is a different house. Okay, I thought this was the same house. Let's go inside. Enter the house? Yes. Alright, it is quite a nice little house. Oh, got a creepy face over there though. Is there any way to turn on the lights, I wonder? Kinda need some light, you know? It's locked. Is this locked? No, this is not locked. Got a closet. Looks like this is Skye's wardrobe. She seems to wear the same clothes every day. Okay. A bucket. It has a horrible smell. You decide not to investigate further. Yeah, this is uh, that's a toilet, my guy. That's a toilet. There's a light coming from below the rug. Pull out the rug. Yes. Hmm. What's under here? Ooh, a secret door. Oh no! That's not cool. Has she got us? Has she captured us? Is that the end? Oh, we're trapped now. In the basement with Nelson. Hey, Nelson. Oh no, this isn't Nelson, is it? Of course it's not. It's his son, Ben, I bet. Nelson's dead. <laughs> Nelson's not alive anymore. So, she got you too, huh? Oh, dang. Yeah, this has got to be Ben. You know, I spent these past few hours trying to convince myself that maybe that wasn't really her. But I saw it. I saw her killing your kind. A and I couldn't just let her get away with it. After seeing what she's capable of, I had a feeling that my dad and I were next. So I tried to find her myself, but it all went wrong. Yeah, so he saw her, like, killing number eight. And he was trying to, like, I guess shoot her, and she just got the best of him. He's like, leave him alone! Oh, damn, he actually shot her in the face. What the heck, so she regenerates or something? Honestly, I didn't want to use my dad's shotgun, but when I looked at her eyes, it was like she wasn't there anymore. So I got scared and I pulled the trigger. Even then, she still recovered in a matter of seconds. There's definitely something off about that rabbit, assuming she even is a rabbit to begin with. Don't worry though, because guess what? I got a plan to get out of here. Let's just say it may involve a lot of waiting. And a bit of persuasion. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I found this in the woods yesterday. You got a silver ring. Oh, is this going to give us a power when we put it on? Yeah, it fell out of her pocket and I grabbed it. Yeah, that was the ring that belonged to number eight, wasn't it? I'm guessing it belongs to one of you guys, so I'm giving it to you. Anyway, time to execute my plan. The waiting game begins. <laughs> yeah, that's not much of a plan. Maybe, uh... Maybe I'll try something. Oh, it's a lock. Oh, we're sitting on this wall. Hmm, so it seems to be saying right one, left two, right one, and then it's got one arrow going either side. Don't know what that means. Let's try it, I guess. So left one, right two, left one, Right one. Hey, okay, that was it. Just have to mess about with it till you get it. So we found a way out. Ben wasn't very... Oh my god. Ben wasn't very useful, and then we see this room full of, like, hands that are torn to bits. A handy pal, but it seems there's no number attached to it. There's also a strange black liquid leaking from its insides. And it's moving. Oh man, that's kind of sad. There's something inside the box. Grab it, yes. You found a crowbar, nice. 
I'm guessing these are all dead. There's a lot of handy pals on the table, but they seem to look a lot more like you. Hmm. Maybe we're one of the manufactured hands. Sky is still upstairs, so it's probably not a good idea to use the ladder. But maybe there's another way to access the second floor. Okay, so I guess we go back to the vent shaft here and prize that off with a crowbar. Hey, what's that? Oh, you found a crowbar! Holy crap, this is perfect! Now we can use it to bash her head and run the heck out of here. No, use it to prize that uh, vent shaft off. Huh. Oh, I see. You want me to open the vents? Oh yeah. And then we can sneak through the vent and escape. Good thinking, glove. Thanks. This is a pretty straightforward plan. Alright. Gloves go first. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you, huh? Alright, let's go. Wait. Do you hear that too, Glove? That music must be coming from the other room. That means we'll have to listen carefully to find the right path. Let's go. So it's another little mini-game. I think we kind of have to work out where to go. It seems to be coming from this direction. But do we want to head towards the music? It's getting louder. Oh, it's changed to the right. Keep moving forward. Still coming from the right. This is definitely sound based. Uh, directional sound based, sorry. It's still coming right. Let's go to the right again then. Yes, we're here. Let's be careful though. Sky might still be inside this room. Okay. I'll try my best to be careful. Yeah, look, she's just playing the tragic music on the piano. Oh, does she know we're here? I think we have to only move when she stops playing the, uh, when she's playing the music, sorry. Do we wait behind here? We can't run. Yeah, I think we've got to hide behind the objects, guys. When she, like, bangs the piano down, we've got to stay hidden. So, for example, where we're here behind the chair, you can see the shade is over us. So, um, we shouldn't reveal her ourselves when she goes dong in a minute. There we go. We're safe. Go back to playing. Okay. We just got to take it easy. Okay, we're safe here, so I'm going to wait here again. There you go. Nice. You get less and less time. We need to hide behind this jar here. Quick, quick, quick. Yes, we're good. Okay, I'm just going to stay here and wait now, guys. Wait till she bangs on the piano again. Let's go. We're almost there. We're almost at the other side. Go, go, go. Nice. I'm just going to wait one last time. I'm not going to rush now. There we go. Now we move. I think we're safe. I think we've done it. Oh, we got to do this guy now. Are you kidding me? This is insane. i got to do both of them. Get both of them through the room? I might try and speedrun this in a minute, guys. Let's see how much of a speedrun I can get going. Faster, faster, crawl, Ben, crawl. I'm going to see if I can do two at once, okay? Get over to the chair and then stop. So there we go, now we're behind the chair, we wait. Okay, go, 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 go. Just gotta make sure that she doesn't see Ben as he crawls by. So, 
instead of stopping here, I am going to crawl one last little bit. Hopefully get to the next bit. Come on, please. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. I think we just made it. Yeah, we're good. Man, that was close. We literally just made it then. All right, let's try and um, get to the finish line now. We should be able to do this if we're very, very lucky. Come on. Yes. We made it. Nice. We just did it. Okay, brilliant. We're out. Come on, let's get out of here. Ooh, that was intense. Because you never knew quite when she was going to go like, Dong. Did we make it? I think we did. Now, you might not know this, but your dad's died, by the way, Ben. <laughs> just just letting you know. Uh, yeah, there's the exit. Oh, wait. So you want to go back to the garden? I get it now. Well, I guess this is where we part ways, Ben. I need to go back to see my dad. Oh, man, he doesn't know. You must be super worried. Hopefully we can move out of that old cabin before things start getting out of hand. But hey, it was nice to meet you. And thank you for helping me back there. We can't let him just go, surely. Hey, um, speaking about Dad, did you and that rabbit see him today? Oh man, this is maybe a choice-based thing. And if we choose yes, he might think we're involved in some way. I am going to select yes though and be truthful. Is he... is he still alive? Oh man, I'm going to have to be truthful. I'm going to have to break the news. Say no, he's not. Oh, you told the truth to Ben achievement unlocked. So it seems like it's kind of like a pick your own adventure type game. That's interesting. So you were there and you did nothing. Everything I did was for you guys. When I saw her killing one of your kind, I, I sacrificed myself for those handy pals. But you're just like her, aren't you? You don't care about anyone but yourself. And we escaped together, but for what? For you? Uh, well, well, I bet you're happy now. Oh, it's so sad. I bet you have a family waiting for you back there. But guess what? I have nothing. I can't believe this. I risked everything for a stupid glove. Oh, we couldn't stop him. He could always join the handy pals and escape with us through the labyrinth, right? Oh, well. I don't know what we're meant to do now, guys. Okay, so that's the entrance to Sakai's garden. I do wonder, though... If we go back this way, can we actually speak to him and, like, help him? You know, try and, like, speak to him? I don't think we can. It's blocked off. I just wanted to check, you know? I wanted to see if Ben was okay. The final day. Oh, look, we've got to the end now, guys. All right, let's get out of here. Heading up to Sky's cabin. I wonder if we can free the other handymen and, uh... Bring them to the hideout now. We're back in the garden. Sky is lovely garden. Not so sure about that anymore. Oh, what the heck is that? A secret way? A secret passage? Yeah, look. What the heck? There's like a little trail of like torn gloves. Not sure it's a good idea to head towards them, but never mind. We'll uh, we'll see where they lead. Oh, boxes is here. Hmm. I don't know about that finger taker. You should probably wait until the others come back. Ah! Oh, how long have you been floating there? You scared the crap out of me. Dang it, I really need to keep myself calm. Anyway, I see you're hanging on to something there. You got something you want to show me? It's the ring, isn't it? That belonged to number eight. Number eight's ring. Man, I, I really thought he was going to make it, but she... She killed him. Too bad. Oh, Sky's there. Maybe if he followed my rules, then none of this would have happened. And all of you could have lived your normal lives as always. 
But no, you just had to break the damn rules, didn't you? Anyone who steps inside the labyrinth must be disciplined. Simple. Disciplined? You mean killed? Doesn't sound like you're disciplining anyone around here. Sounds more like you're hiding something from us. Yeah, what's she hiding? What's through there? Oh? Oh no, she blew them up. What the heck? I think I get it now. You just miss me, don't you? It's been a long time since we last saw each other. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. I know how much you missed. The real me? What the heck? Oh man, she's a psychopath. She just been harboring like a grudge? Is he an ex or something? Oh god, wait, what the heck? Oh, okay. This has gotten pretty dark. <laughs> this has got even darker, guys. What's wrong, little one? I'm here for you. Stop it. Please, just stop already. After all this time, and this is how you treat your own mother. Oh, it's his mom, okay. <sighs> just as I thought. You, you're just weak, pathetic, little. Oh damn, he slapped her. Huh? Finger taker, are you? He's not having any of it. Right, let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you just struck my mother. So we've gone into the labyrinth now. It's too dark in here, take this! Okay, we've got the lantern. No, I don't want it back. You need it more than me. Okay. Look, my... I failed you guys. I failed for fighters. I failed number eight. I failed for handy pals. And I failed you. Things are only gonna get worse if we stick together. So, let's split it up from here. I don't know if we'll see each other again, but... Don't come back for me. Oh man, we gotta leave him alone? She's coming for us. Go! We're splitting up from everyone right now. We're going off on our own. But it's gotta be done, I guess. So this is the labyrinth, I guess. Where's the exit? Is the exit like to the far right there? I think it might be. Okay, so we gotta kind of remember this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to remember it. But we'll try. So, we want to start off, I guess, go this way. Are there going to be enemies in the labyrinth? There's an eye there. I'm going up. I'm going up, guys. I don't think we can actually go this way, though, maybe. What the heck? There's just hands all sabotaged here, all, like, torn up and stuff. No, we don't want to be here. We've got to go back down. Yeah, we need to go past that eye, unfortunately, guys. I'm running. Okay, keep going. Oh, no. Oh, she's got us. It's that easy to die. Are you kidding me? Oh, God, she got... Okay, she... yeah, you cannot get seen. I think once you get seen by her and those eyes, it's game over. So, let's go back this way. Let's try this again. This is going to be tricky. Oh, I'm going up. So, basically, you just want to avoid the eyes at all costs and just do not trigger her. Because if you trigger her, it seems like she's really hard to lose. Okay, so we're going to hide. This time, I'm going to go. There we go. As long as we don't get her to, to trigger into the map, I think it might be okay. So just avoid those eyes. Oh, we made it, we made it, we made it! Don't hear any eyes. I hope we're going the right way, by the way, because I have no idea, honestly. 
where is the eye now? Oh, it's down there. Go, 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 go. Okay, so this one's moving all, uh, well, right to left, so... In. Go. Nice. I hope I'm going the right way, because I have no idea. Let's go up here. Wait, where is it? I can hear it, but I can't see it. I think it's down there. Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. Good. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's this way. When it moves past, we're gonna run. Go. Okay, nice. We did it. We're like a little rabbit ourselves, just hopping through the grass. Because this is a dead end, can we go up? Yes. The exit, I think. Oh no. Oh no, we're only halfway through. Oh man. Okay, well, well we're over halfway to be fair. Hopefully this is a checkpoint. Because if it's not, I mean, it's just not fair, is it really? I think we need to go this way to get out. And then down again. And then where do we go now? I think we need to get to the bottom of this area. Okay, go. Keep going. Oh god. There's another one right there. Okay, this is going to be really hard. Go. Okay, we made it. What the heck? Go, 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 go. Alright, we made it, we made it, we made it. Now where do we go? Up? Where do we go up, guys? Yep, keep going up. Head up here. Almost ran through that. Come on, we got to be close to the exit now, right? Look at all these hands, they've just been savaged. Next eye is there. So how do we get by it? Guys, I think we have to run with it now. Yeah, we have to run with it, that's pretty hard. Okay, now we go down. Okay, keep going, keep going. Got one of these. No problem. Okay, I think we're near the end now. Wait, what's this? The mask. The mask of one of the boxers. So is he killed as well? Looks like everyone left the hideout and they were got by Sky. I can hear an eye, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, I'm gonna hide here, guys. We gotta wait for it to pass. You get no time to react to this one. Okay, we made it, we made it, we made it. That's actually insane. So this one again, we get a tiniest bit of time to react. All right, and go. We made it, we made it, we made it. We must be close to the end now, surely. Yes, I think we made it, guys. All right, that took me several attempts. It was pretty frustrating, but we made it to the other side. We didn't get grabbed that last run, which is good. So where are we now? What the heck? What is this? Ooh, is this the bunny graveyard? What's that say? Beware the beast, follow the wind of the beast and you'll meet your end. Follow your own path and you'll find the light. The wind of a beast, what does that mean? Maybe go this way then? So we basically... I think we just have to like select which path we want to take, but I don't know which path is the right path. 
I can hear something coming from that side. So I'm going to go this way. I kind of want to know what the beast is, but I don't want to have to redo the whole section again, just in case it makes me restart. So I'm not going to worry about it. So the wind seems to be coming from this way, so I'm going to go this way. Oh, there's a note. So this is page 13. Just arrived at codename Flower. First thoughts, I think it's too happy looking for my taste. I was expecting something much more interesting, but perhaps I'm judging it too quickly. That's from C. Okay. So this is like a code name. this place. Maybe it's an experiment, like a virtual... I don't know, a virtual experiment? Because it is meant to be set in a game, isn't it? We accessed it from the desktop at the start. Anyway, there's a giant statue of a glove bear as well, which is interesting. Deeper into the cave. Got a door here, look at this. Statue of a door now. Now the beast sound is coming through there, so I'll go this way. Let's keep going further into the cave. Oh, I think we made it out safely. Yep, yeah, here we go. Nice. Ooh, what is this place? It's like a portal. You feel like destiny brought you here, but what lies ahead is unknown. Are you willing to risk it all and head into the void? Uh, I guess so. Wait. Hey, so am I... I may or may not have followed you all the way here. <laughs> he like used us as bait. Look, I know what I said, I've said. But everyone is gone and I got nothing else to live for. I need to know if there's more people out there. People like them. I can't just stay here forever, man. I, I need to know what's out there. I know that none of this went as planned, but give me one more chance. Let's go together, please. Alright, I guess so. I guess you're coming with us then, right? Buddy boy. Oh, we got sucked in. <laughs> Look at him. He's going... Ah! What's going on? Can't hold on! Alright, we're getting sucked in. Oh. Is that his mom? So this is what you want? To get yourself killed? Ah! Leave me alone! Stop. You're not listening to me. You have no idea what you're getting yourselves into. This world is not what you think it is. And how am I supposed to believe you? You destroyed my life. I gave you life. You just had to play by the rules. I was never alive. You treated us like puppets. You're just a sick, cold-blooded killer. So, goodbye. Sylvie? Oh, so Sylvie is the name of Sky, or her real name. Interesting. Avoid the objects? What the heck? It's, it's still going, guys. What the heck? So we're going through the void now. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, we got hit. It's fine. No. I'm hitting everything. We got this. I think I'm getting used to this. Ah! Go, 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 go! This is actually kind of tricky, because you don't move that fast. Whoa! No! How much damage can I take here, I wonder? Oh, the eyeball! Avoid the eyeball! Ah! I'm getting clonked! Go, go, go! Okay, I think we made it. I think we're all good. Or unless we died, I don't know. We got to the other side of a void, I think. What a mad game this is. I think we can all agree. Alright, we gotta wake up again. So we're on a street somewhere. Huh. Oh, outside another rabbit's house. 
this place doesn't feel like the garden anymore. Whose house is this? I don't know. Look at that little duck floating in the pool. It's kind of cute. Guess we find out. Not the door, yes. Who's at the door? Ooh. Is this the original Sky? I think that's the original Sky, guys. Obviously, you know, Sylvie was just wearing a suit, right? Like the skin of Sky. And that's the end. So I think what happened is they went back through time to when Sky was still alive, and then you just meet Sky at the end there. And Sylvie was like, I don't know, the evil version of Sky that took her skin and posed as her in that other reality. I don't know how the world connects or works right now. We haven't really got much to work off. But there's probably some secrets you can find that will help with that. And I might do a story explained on this one. I actually enjoyed this game so far. But uh, that will probably come once I've done a secrets video and all the other stuff. But either way, guys, this was a fun game. I enjoyed it. I thought it was well put together. Definitely a big improvement over the demo from last year, which was okay, but it had some problems. This was um, very polished and mostly like really fun, apart from that labyrinth bit. The labyrinth bit was a bit annoying. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I look forward to chapter two whenever that's going to come out. And I'll probably do some extra content on this game if you guys want to see it. But that is my playthrough of The Bunny Graveyard. Now, if you did enjoy this playthrough and you want to play the game for yourselves, it's available right now on Steam. I will leave a link, of course, in the description below this video, as I always do. And if you have enjoyed this video, of course, remember to leave a like, comments down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.